Hi, I'm Jim with Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Ibanez AMH90 Artcore. The Ibanez AMH90 Artcore Expressionist, finished here in Prussian Blue Metallic. The neck is three-piece NATO and maple with a bound Massacar ebony fretboard, AM Expressionist neck profile, 12-inch radius, 24.72-inch scale length, 22 medium nickel frets, ABS nut, and Ibanez tuners. The body is Linden, with Super 58 humbuckers in both the neck and bridge, independent volume and tone controls for each pickup, three-way toggle pickup selector switch, three-way mini toggle, and Gibraltar Performer bridge with quick change three tailpiece. Finally, this guitar comes set up with 10 to 52 gauge strings and has a number of case options available for purchase. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the specs on the guitar. Before we begin, to, let's take a quick look at the amp settings and how we're recording. I'm going through this reissue deluxe reverb. Got the volume between four and five, the treble between five and six, the bass between four and five. Uh, a little bit of reverb from the amp into the aux with a 212 twin reverb setting of 57 and a 121 on the cab, then into Pro Tools, no sweetening. And every guitar you heard at the beginning was this, the Ibanez AMH90 Artcore Expressionist. It's a cool guitar. It's got the uh, classic Super 58 pickups in it and this neat little switch here. So your basic, uh, you know, two humbucker setup, two volume, two tone, three-way toggle. This little guy here, when it is in the up position, the two coils of the neck are in parallel. When it's in the middle, the neck is single. And when it's at the bottom, the neck is in series. So that gives you some tonal variety in the neck and in the middle. Bridge humbucker is a bridge humbucker all the time, straight up, so let's listen to the guitar clean and dirty. And we're going to start in uh, series mode, in the neck, everything on 10, and let's, uh, let's be cool with that reverb. All right, here we go. Single coil mode. A little bit of a fall off and output there as you'd expect, but not terrible. Nothing you couldn't fix with a little bit of compression. Here it is in series. No, in parallel. Yep. All right, so when you go to the middle, let's run through it again. Here it is both humbuckers and the neck is in series. Next single and the bridge humbucker. Neck in parallel. I'm just gonna confuse myself this entire video with that. <laughs> Thank you. 
So a lot of these sounds to me become cool when you have a two humbucker guitar and you're trying to do modulations and things. Sometimes you just need to cut the flub. And, um, you know, is it going to get you the sound of a Strat in the second position? No. But what it does do is it allows you to kind of cut some of the girth off of the sound. So when you're doing things like, you know, modulations like this, you know, you know, you know, When you're getting into that stuff, it's really neat because with humbuckers, those sounds can get kind of muddy, especially if you're using more analog, uh, vintage style choruses and delays and reverbs. At least that's my opinion. Feel free to share yours. All right, let's hear the bridge. So the bridge is just the bridge, the switch has no effect, so let's hear it burn a little bit. Here's uh, the green sound of a brown protein. Okay, the Ibanez AMH90 Artcore Expressionist. <laughs> 